What's up everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. Look at that little bird. Another little bird right there. Super, super simple. There we go. All right, let's get started. Let's get started with a painting here. Hope you're all doing great. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And uh, yeah, let's do a let's do a let's do a painting. Let's do something. a little something all right here we go let's get started let me get a canvas let's put the canvas right there Hopefully you can see it. There we go. And let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's do a little painting. For those of you who don't know, again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I create some pretty, uh, some pretty fun stuff. I'm a full-time artist. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. Here we go. So throughout the years, I've been able to, to create artwork on a daily basis. Um, and uh, people have been asking me over and over, how is it that I'm able to do that? Um, what's, uh, what's the secret to doing that, to being able to stay inspired and whatnot? Um, there's a couple of things that I do to stay inspired but the main one is is you, you got to stop trying to copy other artists that's the main thing you got to start learning how to do your own thing if you don't if you don't learn how to do that you, you'll never make uh, original art that's the the most important thing about being an artist is, is learning how to become original it, it, and it's not hard it just takes work it takes work It takes work, and and, uh, and that's the pain of that's the pain of the trade, and many people don't want to go through it. But that is the pain of the trade. Becoming original. How do you do that? Well, you got to study, right? You got to study. You got to practice. You gotta you gotta put in the time. You gotta be consistent. Uh, when things don't look like they're going well, you gotta keep you gotta keep moving. And so that takes a uh, takes a lot of dedication, and that's how you do that. I get that question asked all the time. Hey, how do you remain consistent? How do you how are you able to always come up with new ways of painting, with new new um, new themes, and on and on? How? Well, I I do the work. I put in the work. That's how. I put in the work. I don't just go and look at other artists and see what they're doing. That's that's a killer for me. I don't I don't even like doing that. I don't like to see what other artists are doing because it it depletes me from my energy. It depletes me from my my own potential. 
And uh, I, I've talked to many artists. Uh, one of the things that I do is that I've, well, I haven't done much of that lately, but I, I used to coach a lot. I still do, but I only have a, uh, a handful of artists that I, that I coach. Um, but that is a problem. That is a huge problem. Why artists, artists don't have originality. Um, they're not willing to pay the price. There is a price to pay with your artwork. And, and that is that is uh, it's not just it's not just doing work. Of course, you have to put in the work, but it's it's study, right? You have to study. You have to study drawing. You have to study different different um, different themes. Not every theme translates into a good painting, and on and on and on. Not every you know not just because it's something new and different doesn't mean it'll make a good painting. Or it doesn't mean that it'll make a good painting for you, depending on your style. And so, really be, being a student, being a student of art is really what has helped me tremendously throughout my career. Constantly being a student of art. Constantly studying, drawing, paying attention. Paying attention to the work. Hey, Mika. Going the extra mile. Going where nobody else is going. It's very easy to just go and open something and look at what some another artist is doing. And then be like, oh, I'm going to go do that. It, that's, that's very easy to do. It's harder to go the extra mile and say, you know what? I'm going to sit there and I'm going to craft something. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to think about it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really study this. I'm going to pay attention to this. And it might look crappy because I'm because I'm new to it or whatever, but but that 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 is really where the that's where the trade that's where the craft is the art the creative aspect of it is in the work and putting in that that discipline work. There's nothing easy about it. It gets it gets simple. It starts getting very simple. But, but you always have to be watching it. Right? You always have to be keep paying attention to it. Your mom knows because your mom ordered it. It's in her phone. It it shouldn't it shouldn't be that that much more. Huh? And so that's that's one way that I've been able to to um, remain a, a full time artist, um, amongst other things that I've done. But that's that's probably one of the one of the main things. It's become a student a student of art. Don't don't ever feel like you got it all figured out. I mean, you can. You don't have to take my advice. You the moment you feel like you have it all figured out, you're you're done. <laughs> You're done because you put your guard down and, and you stop. You stop studying. You stop working at it. All of a sudden, you start repeating yourself, or you stop showing up as much. You stop. You stop being on that edge. So the moment you you think you have it all figured out, you're gonna start getting cocky and being like, "Oh, I don't need to show up today. I don't need to study that. I don't need to pay attention to, to, to different styles or drawings or, or themes. I, you know, I have." have this this type of Midas touch I'm untouchable and not only I've seen what that what that does to artists I've experienced it myself many times the hardest part is starting from 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 the bottom every time every time an artist gets a, a sense of I got this shit I figured it out uh, I don't need to learn um, I learned what, what I learned everything that I needed to learn, and you know that type of deal. Forget about it. You're done. One thing that I've noticed about this career is that it, it requires it requires your full attention. The moment you start 
playing around with it and not giving it attention, it, it's, it, it slips from your hands. And then you don't know what, what, what happened. You're, you're walking around being like scratching your head being like, man, what happened? I, I was doing so well or I was, I was selling my work or I was coming up with some very interesting work. What happened? Why am I not so creative? And on and on and on. It's because you got cocky. You got cocky. You, you... No artist survives on just, on just, um, showing up every now and then or or uh, doing the same thing you can't survive doing the same thing you have to constantly reinvent yourself you have to constantly be original especially especially if you're doing some of the stuff that I'm doing uh, commission work or auctions oh my god especially auctions god forbid you you you, you feel like you got it figured out and you stop so you stop putting in the work You won't even see what hit you because it requires so much attention. Same thing for uh, art exhibits. It requires so much attention for art exhibits as well. Everything, I think everything that you do requires, requires a, a great deal of attention. that very simple stuff Unfortunately, simple it doesn't mean easy, but, but very simple. Very, very simple stuff. But yeah, my friends, originality is everything in art. It means everything. It's the reason why people will follow you or not follow you, buy from you or not buy from you. Or this, the, the, this, the fact of originality is rooted in artwork. And so, again, I get asked these questions all the time. How do you stay, how do you stay consistent? How do you stay original? Blah, blah, blah. Well, very simple. Put it, put in that fucking work. Stop looking at everyone else. Stop looking at all the other artists. And start putting in that work. I don't even like to see what anybody anybody's doing on 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 Instagram or any of the platforms it, it doesn't i don't pay attention to it because it's not it wouldn't be original and i i survive my career survives on originality so anything that i see is not original i have to do some i have to do some deep work i have to dig dig deep As an artist, that's the job. You have to be very, very, very deep in yourself. This doesn't mean you don't become inspired and whatnot or something, but, but um, 
Becoming inspired is one thing. Copying and that's not that's not being original. Becoming inspired is simple. It's like, oh, I see this. How could I do something and make it original? Not not how I not, not how can I do a variation of it, but how can I do something that this inspired me and make it original? Many people have asked me, what's the secret? That's the secret. Originality is the secret. Very, very few artists can be original. Very, it's a handful. Especially on Instagram and other places. Very few artists can be, very, can be original. And being original is really what makes the whole thing work. It's the toughest thing to do, too. It requires a lot of attention. Because you start competing with yourself. That's what being original is. It's like a, it's like a swimmer, like an athlete who's a swimmer, who starts competing with themselves. You're, you're against yourself. You're not against others. You're, you're against your own. Whatever you painted yesterday doesn't work today anymore. If you if you truly want the thing to work, right? Or or you better show it to someone who has never seen it before, and and that's a lot. It's a lot harder to do. That's going to require you to have a very, very huge, very large audience, millions of people. And even if you have a large audience, um, if that were the case, then artists wouldn't come up with new songs anymore. Of course, that's not the case. Even a large audience. A huge audience doesn't save you from, from being original. It's it's a it's a must to be an artist. And it, and it and it worked different for for different artists. Some artists just can't be original. Some artists can. Uh, I think everybody can, but some artists don't don't put in the work. And so it works different for different depending on where you're at. One of the things that I like to do is I, I like to step away from everything and, and really start doing the work. No TV, no nothing. Really d dig my, my heels deep and start doing the deep work. All right. There it is, my friends. Hope you enjoy this little painting. Look at that. I'm getting hungry. Oh, she art says, do the work. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, forget about it. If you don't do the work, forget about it. It's this you have all kinds of all kinds of weird experiences. You'll you'll echo yourself and you'll echo other artists. And that's not original. That that doesn't create buzz. That doesn't create people that doesn't want it doesn't make people want to see your stuff or buy it. I said it many times. Uh, people that are serious, right? The people that are not serious, they'll, they'll, they won't be original. But people that are serious, they're going to start looking for originality. Putting in the work. It requires a lot of work. To be original requires a lot of work. And that's why most people don't want to do it. I'm so glad because I'm so hungry. Yeah. All right, my friends. I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. Take care. Talk to you later. Peace out.